Alright, so now we are going to go through uh, Magmore Caverns. And we're not going to sweep this place out uh, the way we did for um, the last place we were in, Talon, or uh, Chosen Ruins. We are going to use this uh, for its intended purpose as a transportation tunnel. And we're just going to walk through. Okay, so we are going to collect some stuff along the way, though. So if you notice with the x-ray goggles, this pillar here... Alright, buddy. So if you notice with the x-ray goggles, this pillar here has a Chozo artifact. In order to access that, we're going to be using a super missile. And uh, we are going to be taking this Chozo artifact. I was a little unsporting of uh, Mr. Fireworm hitting us in the middle of the cutscene there. But, uh, that's okay. I suppose it wasn't 100% uh, sporting of me to hit him with a uh, ice beam in the head. So. Uh, this, uh, this pillar is uh, disappointing. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. I saw that puffer guy and I was like, don't you dare, you, don't you dare. And he's just like, nope, I'm gonna serve my uh, game intended purpose of being a blockader. Uh, jeez. Speaking of the game intended purpose right here, look at these, look at these clowns. Alright, so that's a, that's a cool thing you can do with these triclopses, which is that, like, when they're facing away from you, you can drop the bomb, and the bomb will, like, lock into their mouth before they can turn around and fight you, so that's kind of cool. Alright, so we got some fine pirates here. We're gonna get these guys sorted out. Alright, so ordinarily uh, I would be a, a pacifist and uh, not worry about these pirates and instead make my way peacefully over. But uh, it turns out that there's a, a reason that I can't do that this time around. So we remember that the, the, the one pillar had a thing in it. Look, this one. Uh, has a missile expansion in it. So we're gonna go ahead and bust that open. There's a missile expansion right there. We just gotta jump up and get to it. But but where where can we jump? Well I mean we could like jump on top of here and then like on top of here, but you know, that's kind of far away. Uh, I don't think we'd be able to make that. So it turns out that uh, they also have these invisible platforms. Um, So using the magic of the x-ray goggles, you can, you can get on those. Those are, unfortunately, uh, the fat detecting platforms, so you have to kind of make your way quick, but, you know, you can do it, no problem. And that is the last missile expansion that is in the Magmore Caverns. Uh, if you thought that that's a pretty low number, you are right. There are, in fact, only three missile expansions in this entire area. The least out of any of the major areas in the game by a pretty substantial margin. And we got them all now, so that's great. So let's take a look at this area. Uh, again, there's some flying pirates we're uh, going to want to placate. Yeah, I didn't forget about you too, buddy. Can you get some uh, personal uh, autograph time with the legendary battle hunter? Get uh, all these power-ups collected here. So, all right, this room here has got something for us. If you have ever took a close look at the mini-map, you might have noticed there's a door that we have not gone through yet. And uh, there it is. It's it's up there. So, wonder wonder what could be behind that door. Well, let's. Uh, the spirit of adventure here and see if we can't get that question answered. So in order to get there, we're going to need to go up to this uh, kind of hidden extra platform here, and then we're going to go up to this one, uh, another extra platform, and then we get this computer console. And uh, it looks like the suspension bridge is functional, but it requires power. So why don't we just uh, help him out with that, with this spinner here. 
And if you could see in the background, this this suspension bridge is the one they were talking about. Uh, when we were spinning, that was getting raised up. Thus forming a path for us to... And this is... The first time I played this, I didn't really have enough faith that uh, the bridge went anywhere. But you can. You can indeed make that jump. And also this one up here. Uh, goodness me, they uh, were not trying to make this place easy to access. So you know there must be something good in there. And here it is. It's a Chozo artifact. No traps or anything. You just jump up there and collect it. So, uh, yeah. Artifact of Strength. Nice. So, now here we've got this statue. And, uh, unfortunately, this one doesn't bowl or do anything fun. Uh, a little lame, in my opinion. But, uh, if you look down here, uh, this, it's a Bendesium great that he's sitting on so let's let's see if we can't do anything with that and uh there you go there's the a power bomb expo we uh have now gotten two out of the four there's one in each of the four major areas in the game so now we're gonna get in here all right so kudos to you if you notice that this was actually uh uh, transport tunnel and not like blocked off with a fan the way that this one is. Uh, I thought that was kind of kind of sweet the first time I saw that. All right, so now uh, we're gonna put that power bomb expo to good use in, in this area here. So if you notice, we've got like this really nice panes of glass, and then we've got these like busted up broken ones. So what could what could we uh, maybe we could destroy some of these busted up broken ones? And uh, indeed we can. And what? What is our uh, payoff for doing that? Well, we've got the beam combo weapon for the ice beam right here. This is the ice spreader. And uh, I will confide in you that it is not as good and as useful as the, the other two beam combo weapons that we have. Uh, whereas the wave buster has some very uh, significant applications in some boss fights and uh, in some pirate fights. The what we what we have here is actually uh, the, the ice spreader does not, and of course the super missile is extremely useful, uh, both as like a, a damage dealing weapon and also as a as a thing. Uh, of course, uh, our, our lovely friends the space pirates are back. Okay, so we are gonna ignore them this time because we do not need any help uh, getting through. Oh, maybe we do. Maybe if we would have killed that space pirate, we made that jump. Fortunately, we have plenty of HP. Uh, we're we're gonna be going over to. Oops. We're gonna be going over to Fendrin Adrifts now. Uh, the platform challenge here to get to this door. And we're going to peacefully roll right through this. Uh, not even going to try and do a double jump. Because we already got that uh, HP. And now it is time to go to Fendrona Drifts. Now Fendrona Drifts has a lot of stuff. Uh, there, There's in fact lots of goodies going on in here. And so it's going to be kind of fun picking all that stuff up. So we're going to make our way uh, through this luxurious cavern. And now that we have the, the plasma beam, these little Shigoth guys is going to be a lot less of a pain in the butt to placate. So uh, yeah, that's... That's uh, taking out some Shugoths for you. And we are going to want to do that because, uh, well... Oh, yeah. Taste it, buddy. Anyone remember trying to ram me off some platforms? Like a little jerk? Alright, so here's our first thing that we're going to get to. Uh, the Plasma View is also good at melting these, these ice block things. So we're going to pick that Missile Expo up. And... You might remember that we had a, a similar situation with a energy tank, and we're for sure going to be picking that one up here, too. This is uh, also kind of cool. You don't need to 
waste missiles on those guys anymore now that we have the the plasma okay so we we saw this this missile expo uh, earlier in the game oh i can never make that jump uh, we saw that missile expo earlier in the game but we uh, did not collect it now is now is the time come for collecting that one also and so we're just going to make our way over there And we notice that there is one of these Cordite things. Don't worry, Super Missile. You are not in jeopardy of being deemed useless. That is for darn sure. Uh, so now we've got uh, something that we can scan to activate a door. And the door gets raised. And Samus is going to... make her way up this spider ball track and collect that recently as well. And so that is pretty sweet. Before we uh, get too carried away for ourselves though, I think uh, it would be wise to make a visit over to the save station we know here. And lock some of this progress in. 